Welcome to 49 Sports Games. I thought I would take a minute and show you how you resolve a shot in Quick Dex Hockey, which is also the same for end-to-end -end hockey too. So when you get a shot on net after you've gone through your ice action cards and you determine there's actually a shot on net, there's two things you need to look at. The first thing you're going to look at is the rating of the shooter. Now he's either going to be rated to shoot from in, slot, or out. Forwards have higher rating from in, where defensemen have a higher rating from out. Now this is not based on individual statistics, this is on a, a compilation of statistics over a couple of years to figure out that more goals are scored from inside for forwards and outside of course from defensemen. So that's one of the things that is kind of a little bit more generic with quick decks hockey. The more shots you get from inside the better your chances of scoring. So let's have a look at a shooter here and for the Vancouver Canucks let's say Henrik Sedin is going to take a shot. And his shot's going to be a shot from the slot, and he's rated a 4. The goalie he's going against is Toronto's Martin Gerber. And Martin Gerber, for this game, he rolled on the good. You can see he could you roll a D12 to start with. A 1 to 2, he might be a little bit shaky, so his rating's a little bit lower. 11 to 12, he's a little more solid. He could have a better game. Uh, so he's rated for normal, which is typically every shot in the game, other than a rebound shot, which he's rated for. And then the clutch time, which is the last five minutes of the game, or the last, uh, in quick decks hockey, the last segment, which lasts about seven cards. And so Gerber is rated good, and so his normal rating is a five. So the way you're going to resolve this is you're going to roll a D20 for the shooter, and you're going to roll a D12 for the goalie. We've also got this little chart here. This chart shows you, and you're going to go through this 60 times a game, so this chart's going to become useless after you get through the first period of hockey because it's always the same. There's two things. It's going to be inside the shooter's range or it's going to be outside the shooter's range. Same with the goalie. It's going to be in his range, the D12 range, or it's going to be outside. And so if it's within the shooter's range, so in this case with Henrik Sedin, you roll a 1-4, to four, and if it's outside the goalie's range, which for Martin Gerber would be a 6 to a 12, that's a goal. So it's inside the shooter, outside the goalie, that's a goal. If it's inside the shooter and it's inside the goalie, then it's a save and the rebound is called a good rebound. So there's two types of rebounds. We call them okay rebound, we call them a good rebound. And this is from the offensive team's perspective. So if the shooter gets a shot on net, so Henrik Sedin rolls a 1 to 4, but Gerber rolls 1 to 5, so you get this good rebound. It means the shooter got a really good quality shot on net. The goalie had to make a pretty special save to make it. And so now there's a chance that there's a good rebound that the offensive team can jump on and try and get a better shot on net. So now if the shot is outside the shooter's range and it's inside the goalie range, well, the goalie's able to smother the shot. The shooter didn't get a great shot on net. The goalie was able to track it down and and leave it up to your imagination. Did he snag with his glove? Did he trap it in his body? Did he knock it down with his blocker and, and then cover it up? You know, that, that's part of the fun imagination that you go through as you play the game. If it's outside the goalie range and it's also outside the shooter's range, that means there's going to be a chance for a rebound, but it's just an okay rebound because it wasn't a great shot on net. The goalie still had to make a save. He wasn't able to, to capture and hold on to the puck. So the puck's loose, now something's going to happen. And so you're going to turn over a game action card and that's where you're going to resolve it. And of course the game action card also has a rebound good. It tells you what happens on each of those uh, options when they come up. So again, quickly recap what's going to happen when there's a shot determined to be on goal from the action cards. You're going to roll two dice. You're going to roll the D20 for the shooter, a D12 for the goalie, if it's within range on the shooter and outside of range on the goalie, it's a goal. And we've got this little chart that shows you all the rest of it. But like I said, you're going to be doing every shot in a game. And that's what's a little bit different, I think, with uh, quick decks hockey and with end-to-end -end hockey. You're going to go through every single shot on net, whether it's on the power play or whether it's on five-on-five five or even in the overtime and whatnot. And so you're going to be doing this 60 plus times a game. So you're going to have this figured out real soon. Anyway, I'm going to keep doing some more videos, show you little snippets of the gameplay. And then we're actually going to get to showing an actual game in action. Thanks for watching. See you next time on 49 Sports Games.